Israeli forces have launched a new offensive in Jabalia in northern Gaza after leveling it during an earlier assault. Attacks on homes and shelters for displaced families have killed several people. The Israeli armies issued evacuation orders for Jabalia and Beit Lahiyab, saying the area is a dangerous combat zone and its operation is to prevent Hamas fighters from regrouping. But displaced people have nowhere to go. Ferdi Akar begins our coverage. <laughs> In Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza, Israeli drones opened fire on people's homes. Paramedics help survivors with whatever equipment they can find. The Israeli army had already leveled the area during its ground assault which began in October. People here have little hope to cling to. We were bombed. Rocks and shells fell on us. May God help us and have mercy. Let the world stand with us. The only thing I ask of them. Only God is standing with us. God is the only one with us. I've lost three children. Four months after it declared the end of Hamas in northern Gaza, Israel says it's fighting again. In northern Gaza, fighter jets have been striking terrorist targets. This morning, we began a temporary evacuation process of the Jabalia area from this area towards the center of the Strip as part of our preparation for a military operation in the area. In recent weeks, we have identified attempts by Hamas to restore its military capabilities in Jabalia and we are working to dismantle these attempts. Attacks which the army says are targeting Palestinian fighters have already killed several children in Beit Lahia. Israeli forces have pushed the people of northern Gaza to the brink of starvation by blocking aid to the region. Now it's issuing more evacuation orders. But it's not clear where families are meant to go. And with Israel launching attacks on Rafah in the south and Deir al-Bala in the centre of the Strip, Palestinians are unlikely to have much faith in the so-called safe zones. Ferdi Akar, Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera's Moth al Khalou spoke to some of the survivors of those Israeli attacks in northern Gaza. The Israeli forces targeted a residential house in Beit Lahi, and this is one of the Israeli targets. He's about 15 years old, maybe. What's really shocking is there is about 11 person still under the rubble so far. We're shocked. We do not know what to do. We're physically and mentally worn out. We're on the verge of going insane. We've been under this hell for eight months. Enough is enough. Look at this garbage and debris. We're dying just to get our hands on some water or something to feed our children. This is not life. We struggle to get firewood and feed our starving children. And above all, the Israelis have been hitting us with missiles and bombs for months. What adds insult to injury is the recent warning. For God's sake, where do we go? Even Rafa is coming under attack. This is not life. Enough is enough. We woke up in the middle of the night to a loud explosion. The whole building was leveled. We've been pulling the dead from under the rubble since then. This is a totally residential six-floor building with no presence of any resistance fighters, nothing but women and children. More than 40 women and children were killed, all innocent, defenseless civilians. We pulled all these dead children as they were holding each other's hands. More children are still buried under the debris. All I can say is that may God punish those committing these crimes against innocent children. I'm going to bring in our correspondent Tariq Abouzoum soon, Dera Bala in central Gaza. Um, Ahmad al Khalou, they're talking to us about the attacks that have been happening in Beit Lahia, but also attacks happening in Jabalia as well. What more do we know about the Jabalia attacks, Tariq? Yes, what is happening right now, Rob, is that the military has set a certain and strong plan related to the closure of borders and exerting more pressure on the Palestinian armed groups, uh, armed groups in order to get more political gains from their operations on the ground regarding the negotiations. They have controlled the borders, preventing any aid to get into the territory and at the same time starting to launch 
wide incursion for three parts, uh, for two parts of this strip in Rafah and also in the north in Jabalia refugee camp. In the past uh, couple of hours, more intensification of military raids uh, from Israeli fighter jets continue to strike the uh, residential buildings and evacuation centers where it complete where that completely host thousands of Palestinians. We are talking about 700,000 Palestinians are still in the northern corner of this strip and who are till now did not receive any kind of aid for the fifth day. Now, the Israeli military says that they are operating again in the north in order to chase the uh, Palestinians armed troops, armed groups who are right now working on reorganizing their troops on the ground there according to the Israeli claims. But yet casualties among civilians in that area is uh, are escalating specifically that the vast majority of people there have nowhere else to go despite the Israeli previous announcement that they managed to militarily control the northern portion of the city. Now we are talking about 16 Palestinians are trapped in a house being targeted as they have been calling for investigative calling for uh, a rescue from the emergency workers. But as we have been hearing from eyewitnesses in Jabalia refugee camp, they are talking about unprecedented scale of attacks being launched by the Israeli infantry units and by the fighter jets journalists as well as they were reporting in Jabalia and Beit Lahia. They have come under the Israeli fire and that's absolutely disturbing. They have been saying that the strikes and the attacks are unprecedented since the outbreak of the conflict since October the 7th. So clearly what is happening is more pressure being exerted on the Palestinians as attacks from the north to the south are still ongoing till now, Rob. And Derek, meanwhile, of course, we've been talking about um, thousands of people making their way from Rafa to where you are in, De in um, Deir al-Bala in central Gaza. What's the latest situation where you are? Yes, um, more evacuation waves are leaving from Rafa to Deir al-Bala to al Mawasi area. Families are desperately searching for a shelter for the family members. Some of them have been uh, setting up their makeshift tents without any proper uh, hygiene facilities, without even proper food and water sources. And those people have been mainly depending on receiving aid from the uh, UN distribution centers in Rafah. But we have been mentioning earlier, pre the invasion of Rafah, that any potential military incursion will be a blow of all humanitarian relief operations on the ground and that's practically what is happening now there is a big expansion of the fighting people are fleeing they are no longer receiving aid from the UN but medically right now the situation is getting much more dire light of the deep shortage of fuel now al aqsa hospital yesterday has received only 8000 liters can that could be only enough for two days of work the later the hospital will run out of service and that certainly will put the lives of hundreds of palestinian patients on the edge of risk and this is a, one of the main repercussions of the invasion of rafa that there's going to be more growing medical pressure on this source medical facility that is responsible for providing medical treatment for hundreds of thousands of Palestinians as Deir al-Balah is the most densely populated area in this strip that is no longer even can be safe in light of the ongoing attacks on Deir al-Balah and the entire middle area. Tariq Abou Zoumin, Deir al-Balah. Tariq, thank you very much indeed. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.